market because we loved travel and so every time we would travel we just always went to the flower markets wherever we would go even if you know we were just traveling for leisure and um, we go to the flower markets and I had to buy flowers and make an arrangement and then we'd post it on our Instagram so people would see that we're in Mexico making flower arrangements or France and making flower arrangements and so I think they just um, translated that to destination weddings. And then we decided we do want to do destination weddings. That would be awesome. Instagram has been so great for us. I think we started it um, way early in the game, like before everyone was on it. So we kind of had um, an initial portfolio built. And um, I think collecting followers has been through all the publications we've gotten on, like when we're on Martha Stewart weddings or Sell Me Pretty, they repost um, photos from us and then tag us and that has accumulated followers. So now um, Instagram is a great platform for us to even reach out to freelance designers and say, hey, we need some more hands in Bali. Like who's available to help us? And we get like a huge response that way. We have a ton of brides and clients that follow us on Instagram now. and like they'll screenshot things and then in our first meeting, they're like, these are the things I love and I know they'll like flip through arrangements or bouquets that I've made or installation and altar installs. Yeah, for us, it's been a great sort of, um, it's almost like a business card in ways, but a business card that also includes your portfolio and kind of like a traveling journal of your life. I mean, we're always all over the world doing events, um, but we love sticking around town and really doing things in town, you know, because yes. there's there's such great people, there's great beautiful venues and lots, lots to do here. Mm -hmm. 